Welcome to The Restaurant Show. I'm your host, Jessa Jeremiah, and I am very excited about today's show. We have Cold Fusion joining us. He's gonna show us how to make the fastest chili you've ever seen. We've also got Hops House Eatery and Pub and Blow and Smoke Barbecue. It's all on today's episode of The Restaurant Show, where you can forget the rest and enjoy the best. It's all coming up right here on The Restaurant Show. This episode of The Restaurant Show brought to you by AccuCline Mechanical Services. Welcome back to the restaurant show. Joining us now, we have Cold Fusion is back. You may recognize this gentleman. This is Joe Perkins. So glad to see you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I know I've missed all of these wonderful dishes you've done for us. What are you going to do for us today? Today, um, I make chili at the restaurant. It's my special chili. I don't. We have a base chili, but this is for like special soup of the day and stuff like that. It's normally awesome. I call it a 15 minute chili. Okay. With nine peppers. Today, I'm going to try to do it in seven minutes. Oh my gosh. So We're I'm going to be fast and furious. I'm yeah. not going to stop. I'll talk as I'm, as I'm going. The first Super. thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my beef tenderloin. I use tenderloin. You can use stew meat. You can whatever you want to use. Okay. I use my tenderloin. Look this at this meat too. This is awesome. So this, this is going into your chili. Yes. This wow. is just a pound. Okay. Normally it's two to four pounds. Is, depends on how big you're doing. This is already better than my chili by a whole lot. <laughs> Put it in your hot pan. Okay. Okay. Joe Spice. About a teaspoon. What did you call it? Joe, Joe spice. spice. My own spice. Everybody oh, who's okay. seen the show knows. This is the secret recipe. Yes. yes. Joe's secret recipe. About an eighth a cup of garlic. Okay. Oh my okay. god. Cook a little bit. This already smells good. All these ingredients smell just amazing. Stir it up a little bit and let this go. We want this to get nice and brown and done. Look okay. at that browning so quick. Okay. You have that on the high heat or a low heat? High heat right now. Okay. I want it. During, at the restaurant, if I have time, I'll do it on a lower heat. But now okay. what I'm going to do, this is what takes time okay. and why it is. You're going to learn us these veggie I'm learn. slices. Cut your peppers. Everybody sees the peppers. They like try to core them. Don't do that. Okay. Turn it upside down. Cut the sides. Don't core your peppers. Okay. This is only half batch, so I'm going to cut half the pepper. Okay. Okay. So I take that. Cut that like that. Okay. Now, all. are you saying don't use these little bottom pieces? You can. That's, you can. You can, okay. without a doubt. I'm just using half the pepper. I see. Okay. Uh, it's only gonna be a half batch of pepper. Uh, this is chili. this is speed so, chili. It's speed chili. That's I'm right. trying to get it all done in one and I can't seven make minutes. chili in less than like two hours, so I'm very well, impressed by this. I'm gonna process. be honest with you. Chili is better once it sits for a day. Oh, okay. Because all the flavors marry. Even if you've done it, you know, take forever to do it. Mm -hmm. Two, three hours at home. It's so much better. When it sits for a day. So yeah, so all it's not all about how long it takes to put it together. Exactly. It's letting it marry let it marry. itself. Basically. Yep, let okay. it marry. And the peppers that I use are you can see there's a yellow, there's a red, there's a green. There's Look at all these orange. fresh veggies, all the colors, yes. it's gorgeous. There's um poblanos, which are these, they're the smoky ones. I use jalapenos. Okay. A little zest, a little A little pink. zing, and then always wear gloves because you don't want to. Okay, yes. Do these things without gloves on because if you touch your face or any other part of your body, you're going to burn yourself. I didn't know that. You were saying that before we started. So you actually can burn yourself just from the pepper juices and things. Exactly. The seeds are the most, uh, seeds and membranes are where the heat is. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's why I try to take the heat out a little bit. You want to make it for everybody, not just for one person. This looks awesome. So now what All I'm right. doing here is I'm going to put the extras on this plate that we had for our meat. If you're paying attention, meat goes in first. Right. Let the meat cook. Joe spice. Or Joe your spice. or your spice. Or whatever spice you want to Just use. Just a spice it would be Just next. Spice is fine. Um, garlic. And then you start on your veggies. Yes. So mostly peppers, lots of different kinds of peppers. Nine and peppers. Wow. And I didn't bread. know there were nine peppers. My goodness. Oh, there's a lot more than nine. And there's a lot of people that don't understand is that. Everybody's like, well, you don't have any beans in your chili. Well, I've competed nationally, mm -hmm. and you're not allowed to have beans in your chili. Really? Why is that? It's called filler. So huh. I've seen people use corn, which I've done in the past. OK, I like that. So um, So what are you going to do with these onions? These onions and session? all the peppers, we're going to chop up, mm -hmm. and we're going to saute just like that. Got it. Then we're going to combine everything together. You want the, the, the size a little chunky. Mm -hmm. I put mine chunky. If you want it small, make it small. I would it lose a matter. finger cutting things this quickly, and just so you know. If you want it spicier, throw a habanero in there. Throw something a little bit spicier in there. It doesn't Mix really matter. It okay. So it's up to you. I just use, I put some sweets with some spice and some smoke. You I think that's whole smart, yeah. I like having the sweet in there kind of balance the flavor Exactly. A bit. You don't want to, I mean, in a restaurant setting, you don't want anything so hot that people can't eat it. You want it to touch yeah. the back of the throat and not the front of your tongue. Because once it touches the front of your tongue, guess what? You can't taste anything. 
Oh, that's an interesting point. So, right, okay. But they're not so hot that we can't enjoy the chili itself. Right, and there are people that come into the restaurant all the time and say, I want it hotter. Okay, well I can make it hotter for you. Sure. That's not a problem. You, can you, can't, add. Un yeah, you can't take it away, right. right, once you get it. That's the thing about cooking. You can always add, but you can't take it away. Yes, that is true. So you're smart to, I don't know if that was a hot one. That one just hit me. Is, is that a sweet pepper? <laughs> that was a sweet pepper. Okay, you're good. just fine. I'm safe. I think you're all right on that end There's of it. things are, juices flying, yes, things are happening here. Flying. That's so, right. I have two minutes to try to get you're this done. You're doing so good. I haven't even been able to ask you any other questions because you're just cruising through. But I do want to ask you if there's anything new. You guys have two locations, right? Right, exactly. We're starting um, starting tonight. It's a Tuesday. We're starting uh, um, Taco Tuesdays. Taco Tuesdays. Yep, we're going to start doing that on Tuesday nights, and we're going to have a little fun. I'm going to do right. some, uh, some specialty tacos, not just regular stuff. You know, every a lot of people do tacos, and they just uh, do simple tacos. No, right. I'm not doing that. I'll be doing fish. Oh, I'll fish be doing tacos. Shrimp. People love those. I'll be okay. doing pork. I'll be doing beef. And I'll be doing chicken. All so kinds of plenty of different choices to go from. Love okay. that. As you can see, I'm sorry. Oh, that looks vegetables. beautiful. Thank you for, yeah, tilt that for us so we can okay. see. That is gorgeous. Beautiful. Okay. This will take about a minute. I don't know if we're going to finish it. But you know what? We're going to give it a shot. That's okay. I'm very impressed that you're cruising at this pace. This is great. Half, what are you adding half now? Half the what chili is powder in chili here. Chili powder, okay. And half the chili half powder. Half the other one, okay. And what's half this? Half the one? cumin, ground cumin. Now, this is good and healthy for you, is yes. that right? Cumin's a good so, uh, spice. This batch, it's about um, I might half need a some. cup you of chili powder and. A third a cup of cumin. And then Half you just split it chili, in between. third cup cumin. And then you split it. Okay, then I got I split you. It. I'm with you. Just so they both get their mixes. Yes. Okay. Now as you see, the meat's about done. Okay. I'm gonna take the meat and add it. And then dump it in. Okay. In Tilt that for us again if you would when I you're sure finished. will. So we can okay. see this looks so beautiful. And it smells outstanding. This and now I know we don't have a lot of time left, but I'm gonna take my it's tomato right, sauce, one for quart it, for this batch. Okay, normally it's two quarts, but at the restaurant. Okay, this is a half batch. Half batch, one quart. As you can see, the chili is done. Now you let it cook. You can let it simmer for 10, 15 minutes and it's done. Now it simmers, and then and go ahead set. and let it sit. Let and it sit the overnight. longer it sits, the better it is. The more it sets overnight, believe me. Oh my the goodness. It's gonna be. Wow, right. I gotta give you a hand. That was really cool. Uh, I messed up, but that's Seven all right. minutes, hey, almost flawless. I love it. This is Joe Perkins from Cold Fusion in two spots Middleton and Platteville. And Platteville. Go yeah. see him, Taco Tuesdays. Thanks so much. We'll be right back with more restaurant show. After the break, we're checking out Hop's House Eatery and Pub, so stick around. Welcome back to the restaurant show. I am joined now by Hop's House Eatery from Mount Horeb, and I'm joined by Taylor Trummer and Marie Olson. Welcome back, guys. Thanks for Thank having you. us. Well, I should say welcome to you, Marie. This is your first time on the show, it is. Here, right? Yeah, well, mm -hmm. welcome to the restaurant show. Thank I you. I understand that you're going to be showing us scotch eggs today. What the heck are scotch eggs? Can you tell us a little bit about them? Sure. Well, scotch eggs are a hard-boiled egg uh -huh. that we put raw pork so sausage around. Oh, wow. And then um, do a three-step breading process. Okay. And then fry them. All right. Fry them and then bake them. Let's get started. Show us okay. how, this, how this works. Then. So this is, we've already deep fried them and sure. now I'm just going to warm them up in a skillet because sure, obviously yeah. we don't have an oven here. Right, yeah, okay. So it's, there's actually um, uh, hard boiled eggs in there yes. and then you put, what's the next layer on? Pork sausage. Pork sausage. Raw. Mm -hmm. Raw pork sausage and then breading on the outside. Correct. Wow. Yeah. And wow. then we serve it with a mayonnaise, um, lemon and coarse ground mustard sauce. Yeah. And that's all lo low calorie, am I right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, <laughs> no carbs. So, and, and what, what type of sauce did you say that was? That is a mayonnaise, um, lemon, and coarse ground mustard sauce. Mayonnaise, lemon, and coarse ground mustard sauce. Correct. All right. Well, while that's cooking up, uh, Taylor, I'm going to turn it over to you. And you've got a, a beverage that you're going to share with us today called The Breeze. Yes. Tell us a little yes. bit about that. Um, I call it The Breeze. I originally created it when it was in the summer. Okay. But I think it works for this time of year because sure. Might be cold outside, but I want to make you feel like it's warm well, when you're inside. Hopefully. A warm so. breeze is good at this time of year. Right, yeah, so yeah, that's fine. Is. So, uh, yeah, sitting in by our fireplace, which we keep on all the time, yeah. keeps you nice and warm. Of course, that's the best seat in the house. Yeah, there you go. Um, but yeah, so for this one, we're just going to uh, throw in a little bit of pineapple juice. Ooh. All right. A little bit of that. Equal portion of orange juice as well. All right. Like I said, nice and fruity. Yeah. White rum in this is what we're going to use for this. Okay. So I wanted a rum drink, um, something that was made with white rum, not necessarily with like a spiced rum uh -huh. or anything. Keep it light and refreshing. Sure. 
The main ingredient that I really like about this is our homemade rosemary simple syrup. Ooh. So we reduce down, make the simple syrup, put the, some rosemary in there as well. All right. Gives it that nice, bright flavor to it, which is really okay. nice. All right, oh, I gotta get out of the way for right? this now. And we'll <laughs> shake this one up. Shaken, not stirred. Right, exactly. All right, and with this, I'm just gonna sneak past Marie, grab a little bit more ice for this. So I like to shake this one, mm -hmm. one, to get the ingredients mixed up, mm -hmm. but two, it also adds this frothiness sure. to the orange juice and the pineapple juice when right. you make it, okay. which is really nice. So you should get like almost Ooh, like, wow. a, like a beer in a way. You can get that nice, almost wow. like a nice little hat on the top. That is Which is really, really cool. nice. Well, so we'll finish that off. The nice orange, of course, you gotta have a garnish on there. Yeah. And that rosemary sprig makes it look real nice. Garnishing up with some rosemary, very nice. Very get nice. Get that out of the way. That's awesome. I, I didn't expect it to come out that frothy. Yeah, it's just, that's the one thing I really like about shaking it. Yeah. I, I did that originally just to get the flavors mixed together, but sure. then I really liked the way it came out. Yeah. And you can tell in the flavor, it almost gives it like a creaminess to it, which. I don't know how exactly that works necessarily, right. but but it works. But I like it, and it's different if you don't shake it. So I yeah. just prefer to shake it and do that, and that's very cool. Get that in there. So so um, you've got some uh, some events come uh, coming up pretty soon. What can you talk to us about some of the events that you've got? Yes, coming up? absolutely. So the main one that we're looking at right now is January 29th okay. from five to eight. So that is our one barrel brewing event. We were talking about that briefly last yeah. time. I remember when Dan was on. The Resolution Buster. The Resolution Buster. Buster. <laughs> yep. It's over, folks. <laughs> right? So we will have uh, four beers on tap from okay. them. Uh, we will uh, be pairing it with mm -hmm. some entrees. Or okay. Not entrees, I'm sorry, appetizers. Okay. So we'll have that. So we'll have a few rounds of appetizers come mm -hmm. out. You'll get four half pints. Okay. So we will have tickets on sale all the way up until the event and the day, night of the event as well. Friday, January 29th from 5 to 8 p.m. is when the event is. Yep. Excellent, excellent. And um, I also heard that you've had some recent menu changes. Uh, what new menu items have you added? Well, one being the Scotch, Scotch eggs. Eggs. Okay, and it looks like awesome. they're ready. Yeah. yeah. It looks like they're ready. Okay. Looks like it. Mm -hmm. I'll explain more about the menu in a second, but we'll watch. Okay, we're going to cut, cut this open. open. Yeah. This is the moment of truth. Right I know. Now. <laughs> right. Wow. wow. Look at that. <laughs> Everything you want all together, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it works all your protein really well. Deep fried. Yeah. It's yeah, protein deep fried. It's almost like a it's like a little mini breakfast. You've got your sausage and you've got your egg right there. And... Mm -hmm. Wow. Excellent. Excellent. How so who came up with this? Whose idea? Was that your idea? It was my idea. All right. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. And what 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 could have inspired you to wrap eggs? In sausage. I saw it on a TV show and it just it, it intrigued me and I thought, oh, it's kind of an odd combination, but yeah. it, it just works so well together. All right. So what else you got, Taylor? What else you got coming up? Well, your Scotch menu? eggs for one. Right. Those were awesome. We ran those as, as a special because we brought those in mm -hmm. one day and yeah. wanted to try those out. So we did that. Okay. It went great. So we threw those on there. Sure. And we did our Thanksgiving sliders a few episodes ago. Sure. So those we do no longer have. Right. It's not Thanksgiving it's time seasonal. anymore, <laughs> obviously. Yep. 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 Uh, so now we moved on to meatball sliders. All so right. Some nice comfort food for the for the cold season. That's always so important. People, I think, are really looking for that at this time of year. It gets so cold right now, and we're in kind of a deep freeze, our January through February deep freeze, and people are just looking to kind of warm up from the inside out. So yeah, so between the that. scotch eggs, those meatball sliders, few uh, other yeah. changes, we changed our jambalaya, which we originally showed on the first show. Right. So we changed that a little bit more traditional, kind of mixing it up for the season. All right. So again, that'll have you know nice heat to it still. Sure. Good, nice, warming jambalaya, good comfort food. Very nice, very nice. Now, how does one typically eat these? Is it with a fork or is it with their hands? Or That's up to you. I mean, if right. you want to just go for it, I mean, all right. you that's all for you. Just you know go for it. Yeah, but make sure you definitely got to get a nice bit of that sauce on there because that's, that's what really matters on there. I'm not normally a huge mm -hmm. sauce person, but Marie's kind of changed that for me for a little bit. Oh, good. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> mm. I need a second bite. <laughs> Well, good. That's a good thing. Yeah. I hope everybody needs a second bite, mm. or maybe a second plate. Yeah. You know, a second plate. Yeah, you bet. Wow, this is amazing, Marie. I think you're a culinary genius. Well, thank you. You market this and make some money off of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get on that. 
Hops House, Hops House uh, Eatery over in Mount Horeb. Check them out if you're in the area. Even if you're not in the area, make the trip. Go out and see them. Have a nice warm breeze. It's not warm, but you get warm by right. drinking it because of course it reminds you of summer. So hopefully. Uh, thanks for joining us today, guys. It's so great yep. to have you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Don't go away. There's more restaurant show coming up right after this. Stick around. For the best barbecue in town, you'll want to stay tuned. Blow and Smoke Barbecue is joining us. Welcome back to the restaurant show, and I am practically trembling with excitement here because we are joined now by Robert Bishop from Blow and Smoke Barbecue. How are you, Robert? I'm doing great. How are you doing today? Excellent. Welcome Good. back to our Thank studio. Thank you. Appreciate course. it. Uh, and uh, you've got a couple of great dishes that you're going to demonstrate for us today. First yes. and foremost, the Kansas City Blues and Jazz Sandwich. Right. So, show us. Let's, let's get okay. started. Let's okay. jump right in here. This is uh, Kansas City Blues and Jazz. Uh -huh. is, uh, blues and Jazz is really popular in Kansas City and goes great with barbecue. Sure. So, we named the sandwich after that. It's cream cheese with jalapenos diced up. So, that's the blue. That's, that's a, the blue. Okay. Yep. The blues. Yep. So, All that right. goes on your, on your bread. Uh-huh. And wow, the cream jazz, cheese. cream cheese, can't go wrong with cream cheese. No. <laughs> the jazz is the fried onions, crunchies. Oh my goodness. Gotta have a little crunch with your sandwich. Yeah. I do anyway. Yeah. And then we use our shredded pork shoulder. All right. That's great. And that's smoked pork shoulder. Smoked right? pork shoulder. How long do you smoke the, how long do you smoke the meat? Typically? The pork goes about eight to 10 hours. Wow. Yep, beef, beef brisket goes, uh, a little 12 hours or so. Wow. Okay. And this is our new. Uh, Ooh, wow. This Got is some a, chunks in there. This is a horseradish barbecue sauce. Oh, We've been trying here the last couple weeks. And it's just delicious. All right. Excellent. So then you garnish it up with a little bit of like a pickle. Pickle garnish. There you go. On the plate, serve it up with a little side of coleslaw, potato salad, French fries, baked beans. Excellent. Is this a cold sandwich? It's a warm sandwich. It's a warm sandwich. Yep. Okay. Excellent. Awesome. That's fantastic, and that's so. That's and you make that uh, the barbecue horseradish sauce. Yep. Yep. Awesome. It's uh, basically it's using our original sauce mm -hmm. and some fresh uh, grated horseradish. Okay. Um, I used to like spice. Yeah. It doesn't like me anymore. But yeah. this kind of heat, it's a little different. It doesn't burn your lips and tongue. Just kind of tingles the nose and yeah. Just gives it a little uh, little yeah. more jazz to it. There's the there's yep. more, the more jazz the jazz right right the there. sandwich. Yep. Excellent. Excellent. And so then you also have um, the loaded beef sandwich or the loaded pork sandwich. Or the loaded beef and pork, which is at the oh. restaurant, the beef and the pork sandwich is called the best of both worlds. All right. You just blend the two and you just can't go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and that one is? Beef good, pork good, beef and pork. Better. Awesome. Yes, <laughs> yes. So we start off with uh, cheddar cheese, dill pickles, which pickles are awesome with barbecue. Yeah, absolutely. I've always liked the onion. I always make the sandwiches the way I like them. I just hope everybody likes them too. Yeah. So. <laughs> a little bit of red onion. We'll do some beef and pork on this one. Great. Get the best of both worlds. You betcha. You betcha. Yeah. Because you got the, the beef takes on a little more mm -hmm. smoky flavor. Yeah. The and pork's the, a little juicier. So you, sure. you blend them, you got some good, juicy, smoky. And you smoke the beef too. Oh yeah. And and does that take the same amount of time? Eight it's hours. A, or so? It's about uh, a little longer for the beef. Is it? It's a little okay. thicker, yeah. And we sure. do burnt ends. They go about fourteen hours. Oh wow. Okay. They're actually kind of burnt on the outside, but when yeah. you cut them open, they're just juicy beef. A little bit of fatty in there, you know, which helps keep it juicy. Sure. So. But it's it almost like it sears all the flavor in that way. Exactly. That's yeah. awesome. Yep. So uh, and you guys smoke all your own meat on site, is that right? Right there, right in the restaurant. Yep. You bet. That's great. The residents of Wanakee are yeah, uh, thankful. Yeah, we're in a residential area there, so yeah. oh, they right. get they get the benefits, I hope, <laughs> of that. To get the best of your world. That's sure. right, that's right. <laughs> so, you know, while you're getting this together, um, what uh, what's what's I mean, do you offer a variety of sauces on this on this? Yeah, we've got our sweet original, okay. which took two years to come up with. All right. Every weekend a little something different, finally got it. Yeah. Then we have a two steps up and heat, a spicy which has a little tingle. Yeah. We have a branding iron, which has a nice kick, but which most people still don't think is too bad. It's called branding iron. Branding iron. All right. Kind of goes along with, you know, cattle and all that got stuff. It. So and then we've got the new, uh, we got a mustard sauce. We did that uh, last show okay. with our yeah, Carolina. Yeah. And then the new horseradish sauce, which I just love. I like new, anything new is good. Now, do you, is, um, when you go to the restaurant, do you have the sauces available? Or do you have to request the what sauce you want? 
I have the server. Yeah, right you, you can request any certain sauce, or we can bring a variety so you can try them if you're you know if you're new okay. out there. So yeah, I want everybody to try everything. Excellent, excellent. That's but awesome. anything you want, you can get pretty much. And now Valentine's Day falls on a Sunday this year. Right. So uh, I guess the question would be, are you guys open, and are you doing anything? We for are not open on Sunday, but we're going to do a Saturday evening okay. special. Sure. That's going to be. Uh, we just came up with a menu today. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do some stuffed chicken wrapped in bacon. All right. Going to do a smoked pork tenderloin. Yeah. Uh, we're going to start off with spinach artichoke dip. Uh huh. And we're going to do some uh, asparagus tip risotto. Yeah. Uh, I know some of this doesn't sound like a barbecue joint. Yeah, I was kind of surprised. I had to throw the smoked loin in there, but yeah. it's phenomenal. And then we're going to finish up with a chocolate mousse with some coconut ice cream cubes. Ooh, yeah. You'll want the day off after that meal, for sure. Well, that'll so be I'm, Sunday. So I'm glad that you're doing it on Saturday. <laughs> but we're not open on Sunday, and I know a lot of people, if it's on Sunday, like to go out on Saturday. Or sure. if you have kids, it's a good thing to yeah. pop out on Saturday, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And so, um, you guys also do some catering. Do so a ton of catering. Um, are you guys kind of gearing up for the summer yet, or how does oh, that all work? Yep, we've been uh, doing, we do tastings. Sure. If you want to come out for tasting, we have a wedding coming up. All right. Come on out. We'll set up a little sampler platter. All right. Um, we're about half booked for summer already. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Because every year it just starts getting earlier and earlier, you know. Wow. People are finding out about us, and we've got excellent catering prices. Yeah. Um, yeah. So come yeah, check it out. Food, check, out yeah. check out the website. Go and check out, uh, right. check out the restaurant, and definitely stop by for lunch or dinner. Right. Um, I'm going to just cut a little bit of a piece off sure. of this. Sure. You want to try one of these here? Like yeah, this? absolutely. Um, I'm cutting a piece off because I want to leave some for my colleagues, maybe. Brennan, you want some? <laughs> I've right. plenty more. All right, good. All right, we're gonna give this a try. This is the um, this is the uh, Saint Jazz. Blues, or the, the the Kansas City Jazz and Blues Blues and Jazz. Mmm, mmm. You want to dip into the little more of the juice there? Mmm. I got some juice there. That's good. Okay, that's good. You like There's, the horseradish sauce? Yeah, and like yeah, I like the horseradish sauce and the crunchiness of the onion rings. Yep. Just like. That really makes When I was a kid, I used to make sandwiches. I always put chips in there, crunch them in. Mm -hmm. And just, I've done that for 50 years now almost. There's something, something about that. It's it, so yeah. satisfying. Well, just, I love a crunch. Robert Bishop from Blown Smoke Barbecue, always a pleasure. Thank you much. Appreciate it. Go out it. and check him out on, uh, out in Wanakee. And then you have a, a food cart downtown as well. Food cart downtown. It'll mm -hmm. be coming out maybe first of March or so again. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Blown Smoke Barbecue, don't go away. There's more restaurant show coming up right after this. Stick around. Thanks so much for joining us for today's restaurant show. I had tons of fun checking out all these great local restaurants. I'm Jessa Jeremiah reminding you that life is too short to eat average. This episode of The Restaurant Show brought to you by AccuCline Mechanical Services.